And uh, you just listen to a young girl who was saying that the Nigerian community here is totally very angry. It covers all those aspects of making the various things of our people. It was the Ijo country of the Niger Delta of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. He went to several schools. His major academic genesis was at the government way. college, yeah, Ujeli. And go, uh, go, gather, um, destroy their food. Yeah, later, with the way they come. That other camp, some go camp. No compensate everybody. But some of them. In a key generation sometimes. Today our focus will be on the style of JP Clark, a poet and writer, and we shall also be very interested in this point at Bow Dancer. Some lives are meaningful. Some are empty. Some lives that are meaningful with too much meaning and riches to offer humankind. Long after some of these earthly adventures and no more, one can still find footprints of these great lives on the pavements of our contemporary lives. Good evening, you're welcome to the program Green Planet. Good day and welcome to people, places and events and thank you gentlemen for talking to the African Centre for Community and Development. Uh, who are you? I'm Dr. Chandran. I'm the head of the program for fishes and aquaculture with the research centre of fishes. And in aquaculture, we have uh, <clears throat> two objectives, and the main one of the objectives is to produce fingerlings for fish farmers in the southwest province. And the second objective is to produce table fish. Why do we produce fingerlings? Because we carry out a survey, they are not a survey. In the province, some years ago, and we found out that the fish production, fish pond, pond fish production in the province was uh, like uh, in a stalemate as a result of uh, lack of fingerlings. But now, fingerlings of what species? There are two species that are cultured. You have, uh, Tilapia and have catfish. Tilapia reproduces under natural conditions, it reproduces under captivity without any problem. But the problem when it is being cultured is uh, the excess reproduction that results in high density uh, stocking in the ponds. And this high density now results to uh, uh, poor growth and uh, small size table species which is not very much appreciated by uh, the population. Now, with catfish, that's Clarius gallipinus, catfish gets to very large sizes. It can get to a kilogram in pounds over a period of uh, about nine months. It can get to a kilogram. One fish can get to a kilogram. But it does not reproduce under captivity. So if you have nine fingerlings and you put them the nine fingerlings in the, in the ponds, you harvest either the nine fingerlings or you harvest less. less. So the problem is that in under captivity, the reproductive system is stressed and so it is like suppressed. So farmers don't have the technique to produce these fingerlings, which is very much appreciated economically and uh, I mean, economically. So, uh, we have the technology. So, we get the catfish, we carry out artificial production, we produce uh, the fingerlings, and we supply them to the fish farmers. The fish farmers, they grow them now, and uh, I mean, they have better yields in their ponds. Well, another way, they do is uh, they, they get the catfish mixed with uh, tilapia because catfish are predators. Tilapia, they are herbivores. So when you get the two mixed, the catfish they act as uh, predators. They act as uh, as soldiers. They trim the numbers. The numbers of, of, uh, tilapia. of the tilapia. Tilapia they need to be trimmed. If not, I mean they reproduce in in excess. That's it. Now there's another species which you can use to train the population of uh, tilapia and pot. You can use uh, Hemichromis, Hemichromis fasciatus. But the problem is that Hemichromis fasciatus does not get to big sizes. 
in the traditional ponds we have in uh, the different uh, towns in, the, in the, the province, most of them they are small ponds, and the production is low. And the harvesting time is also long. So we are trying to put up a system here. We call this uh, uh, water recycling system. A recent way of culturing fish and authorizes fish production in very high density. Now, inside this pond, this pond is a 5 by 5 that is 25,000 cubic, 25 ton milliliters. And this 25, the stocking density for water recycling system or for this latest system, which I call aquaculture recycling, it authorizes fish production with densities of 100 to 500 per meter cube. Now, with a system like this one, if we have to stock 100 per meter cube, so it will mean that we are going to put a total of 2,500 fishes here. But then we can put 5,000, 7,000 if it has to go to 500. It is only in America and in developed places in Europe that this kind of industrial or intensive density is being done. But in Cameroon, as I said, this is our beginning. And then in Nigeria, at least they are on 200, 300. Now we are starting this one. And we intend to start within the range of 1 to 100 to 150, 200. Now, we'll have about 2,000 here, which will give us two tons, and we'll have another 2,000 there, which will give us two tons. Within this surface area, we are targeting to produce 4,000 tons. Within the years later, we'll have 8,000 tons. And if things move well, we'll produce 10,000 from this system. These are some of the fingerlings that uh, we just produced and uh, we are examining their growth. We give them uh, byproducts of uh, uh, agro-industries. Water recycling system is a system that can produce high density catfish over a very short period of six months. In six months, in a very small, uh, uh, it's a very small environment, you can produce tons and tons of catfish. And this system uh, is very popular in Nigeria, in the townships, Lagos, and uh, all the other cities, because people in township don't have enough land to make big ponds like in the villages. So this system is very popular in this township. Those people who have the money, they go their backyards and they make this small water uh, recycling system and they produce tons and tons of fish which is uh, by far above what is produced in the traditional uh, flow through systems in, in, the, in the villages and we are installing this as one of our objectives in the station here to promote uh, the fish production thank you very much for talking to us And uh, you just listened to a young girl who was saying that the Nigerian community here is totally very angry. It covers all those aspects of making the various techniques of our team. Bell was the Ijo country of the Niger Delta of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. He went to several schools. His major academic genesis was at People government doing, college, Ujeli. Go, go, gather, um, destroy their food. Yeah, later, uh, with the way they come. That other cap, the song cap, you don't compensate everybody. But some of them. In a key generation sometimes. Today our focus will be on the style of J.P. Clark, a poet and writer, and we shall also be very interested in this point at ball dancer. Some lives are meaningful. Some are empty. Some lives that are meaningful with too much meaning and riches to offer humankind. Long after some of these earthly adventures and no more, one can still find footprints of these great lives on the pavements of our contemporary lives. Good evening, you're welcome to the program Green Planet.